Yo, it's your boy Joe. Thanks for watching Mac 3 Media. So what I got for you today is a random arcade review. Well, of sorts. Now, uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give you a little background of the game. Um, obviously I'm talking about Shock Troopers. It never made it home to the MVS. I'm not sure why. Um, it was slated to come out. Never did. All I've ever seen are weird conversions of the arcade over to the MVS. They go for a lot of money as well, so what are you going to do? Um, other than that, uh, let's talk about a little bit of what type of game it is. Obviously, it's a, it's a run and gun shooter. But if I were to have to explain it, think of old school Commando mashed up with like Contra and Metal Slug. That's the best way I could kind of give you an idea of what this is. Other than that, it's got really good controls. It, you know, when you're firing, you're firing all eight directions, and uh, when you tap the button once, it, it fires like a, a barrage of shots. You know what I mean? It's like, brrrah, like that, not just a single shot. And uh, you could fire it all over the screen, but if you hold it down, it becomes like a rapid fire, and now you can strike. It also has a roll mechanic, so when, you, when bullets are coming, you could roll out of the way. That's a nice mechanic as well. It's also got bombs. So you got three buttons, fairly simple controls, good stuff. Now, the characters are all different, they play a little differently, but what gives this game great re replay value is the fact it's two players and there's multiple ways to take the game on because the, the final stage is like an icon in the middle of the map and there's different routes you can take. You know, you can come from up top, two different ways, and then you can come from the bottom. So there's some replayability here. I love the game. So uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look at some footage and uh, I'll run through the game and uh, show you guys what's up.
Alright guys, we are back. Now, first things first, I want to show you the way I'm playing it. Alright? This is the version I'm playing right there. It's the Wii. SNK Arcade Classic Volume 1. Not that there was ever a Volume 2, but that's the version I'm playing. I'm playing it on the Wii U, set to 720p, and that's how I'm recording it. That's how you got those visuals. Um, it's also, I believe this is on the PlayStation 2. There's also other ways to play the game. It's on all the uh, virtual consoles or Xbox Live, all that crap, the PlayStation Network. So, there's ways to play the game. Um, as far as how I feel about this game, I love it. It's one of my favorite Neo Geo games. I have an actual Neo Geo, but I can't believe this never made it out. Not, not like I would have ever gotten it back in the days when it needed because I was young, and there's no way my mother was paying $300 for a game. It wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> so, it never came out. Um, you could, uh, if you have a Neo Geo Mini, you could also play it there. So, like I said, many ways to play the game. I love it. It's it's 35 minutes of a good time, and it's not too hard. It's real. Like, let's say you're having a few drinks with a buddy. You know, what I mean, this is a game you can throw on with your buddy, talk some crap, and have a good time. There, there's no way you shouldn't have this game. And if you haven't seen it before, well, now you saw it. Make your own make your own choices. Make your own opinions. But this, this game here is easily a must buy in my opinion. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll holler at you guys later.